Twelve military vehicles maneuver near a fence as viewed from the Israeli side of the Gaza border. November 5, 2023 Ronan Z. Vulin file photo licensing rights acquisition summary Israel says buffer zone is part of broader plan for Gaza according to sources. Israel conveyed its plans to Egypt, Jordan and the UAE Saudi Arabia, which has no connection with Israel, is also said to have been informed. Arabs and the USA oppose any steps that will narrow the Palestinian territory D-U-B-A-I-C-A-I-R-O-L-O-N-D-O-N. -O 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 December 1 Israel has informed many Arab countries that it wants to create a buffer zone on Palestinian side of Gaza border to prevent future attacks as part of proposals for region after war. Ends. And regional sources said. Israel has linked its plans neighbors Egypt and Jordan, as well as to the United Arab Emirates, which normalized relations with Israel in 2020. According three regional sources, it was stated that Saudi Arabia, which has no ties with Israel and stopped the U.S.-brokered normalization process after the Gaza war, flared up on October 7, was also informed. The sources did not say how this information reached Riyadh, which officially has no direct communication channel with Israel. Sources said non-Arab Turkey was also mentioned. The initiative does not signal an imminent end to Israel's offensive, which resumed Friday after a seven-day ceasefire. But it does show that Israel is reaching beyond established Arab mediators such as Egypt or Qatar as it seeks to shape a post-war peace environment. No Arab country has shown any desire to control or govern Gaza in the future. And most have publicly condemned Israel's offensive, which killed more than 15,000 people and destroyed Gaza's urban areas. Israel wants this buffer zone between Gaza and Israel from north-south to prevent any Hamas or other militants from infiltrating or attacking Israel, said a senior regional security official. One of three regional sources who asked remain anonymous. Nationality. Ophir Falk, foreign policy advisor to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, told when asked about the buffer zone plans the plan is more detailed than that. It is based on a three-stage process for the day after Hamas outlining Israeli government's position. He said three phases include destruction Hamas, demilitarization of Gaza and radicalization region. The buffer zone could be part of the demilitarization process. He said. He declined to give details when asked whether these plans had been discussed with international partners. Arab countries have described Israel's goal of destroying Hamas as impossible saying Hamas is more than a militant force that can be defeated. Compressing the Palestines Israel has suggested in the past that it was considering a buffer zone in Gaza, but sources said it is now presenting them to Arab countries as part of its future security plans. For Gaza, Israeli troops withdrew from the region in 2005. A U.S. official, who wished to remain anonymous, said that is,